Welcome back to the channel, and look at what I got for you today. I think I didn't, I've done one of it. I'm going to do another Molly, and, uh, you know, um, check to see if anything's changed on them. And this one is uh, made in Indonesia. Molly has uh, plants, though, pretty well all around the world. So, it's still a German-made filter company. But they have plants all around the world. It is windy out there today. It's howling. But that's not too bad because I found my caliper. So we're in business again. The caliper was hiding. I found it. I oh, couldn't believe where I put it. <sighs> Why would I put it in the trunk of another vehicle? Now that's just for another story for another time on where I put stuff. But we got the molly here. And, of course, it is the OC614. Let's open her up. Boy, the wind is flowing through here good. That's fine, though. So, the good old Molly. I might get in a little closer here. The Molly OC614. Now, that's not a bad filter, is it? So, I like that they come with the covering. That's always nice, actually. Keeps the dirt and dust out of there. But you really need it in a box and they're sitting upright? Probably not. But who knows how long they sit on shelves, right? So I'll take that cover off. And I kind of want to, you know, get a measurement on how much it weighs in grams. 271 grams. I don't have more light on in here. There we go. I got more light on now. Now, made in Indonesia, 23W35. Haha. <laughs> we got some nice graphics on the outside here to show how to put the filter on. But this is a. I, I always like the Molly filters. I gotta say. But I'm pretty sure it just has a nitrile rubber um, anti-drain back valve. We'll get into that when we get in here. I always like the base plate. The, the feel of the filter is nice and solid. Not that heavy, though, but nice and solid. So I'm going to take off this. Well, this is just a rubber base uh, seal. But it fits in there really nice and it has little nubs on here to make sure that it stays on. And it's six grams. Yes, that's uh, decent enough. But uh, let me find my cutter here. I'll cut her open and we'll come back. So I've been reading a lot of these type of Molly filters have the cellulose uh, filtration in them, which is fine, it does its job. But, uh, we'll see what this one has. Probably just got the cellulose in it. So it's it, this is more or less just a standard filter for your vehicle. Nothing special. So Now, I don't think the can was as thick as some other filters I've done. But we'll take a look at that. Plus, we have my caliper again. So we can measure the thickness of the can to see... How well it is. Got a mosquito bug in me here. Uh, you can get to see me waving around like an idiot out here. There we go, caliper. So let us take her up this way. Here we go. Base plate. Uh, standard base plate. Uh, decent looking. Um, not too hefty. It's standard thickness. One, two, three, four threads. Kind of like the normal thread count you would have on a filter. And there you go. It's got one, two, dang, skeeters everywhere. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight holes. And there you go. And like I thought, standard nitrile rubber, um, any drain back valve, pretty standard for these, 
four grams, not too heavy. Uh, before we take a look at this, but it does have a real spring with uh, a little plate on the bottom to hold it. That's nice. That is nice. I'll weigh the whole thing. Uh, 13 grams for that. Wow. And the cup alone is 56 grams. Well, it's not terribly as thin as I thought it would be, but uh, let us take a look here. I'll get a couple of measurements. Uh, I think my battery's getting low. So I think, um, yeah, I think my battery's getting low. She's blinking away. Okay. Back again. I think I got her working now. Um, yeah, about 42 can thickness. 40 here. The third spot. Uh, 41 there. No, it's, uh, it's, it's standard thickness for that. It's nothing special. It's nothing terrible. So... Now to get on to this. This does look like your standard cellulose filter. Oh, got an anti drain back or a uh, bypass valve here. Let me grab something here so I can push her down. Got a screw here. I don't know if it would do that in real life. I don't like these any drain back valves. Well, see, it would open. But it stays stuck open on some of these types. I, I don't, well, well, it popped closed, so there we go. She popped closed. But uh, some of these types with these any drain back valves, Bypass valve, bypass valve. Sometimes they don't work as good as they should. This one looks like it was having some troubles here working the way it should. So let me try something like this. Seems to work better when I use a different push prod. But, uh,. Yeah, well, let's take a look. Um, yeah, these things are kind of, some are out farther than others here, I notice. Not terrible, it's mostly uniform all the way around. There is space in between, which is nice. That had, that's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna count the pleats up and see how many we've got here. So we got 66 pleats on here. And it's pretty well, it is cellulose. It does feel like it. it probably does just a fine job. But now I gotta cut the filtration off. So there we go, I got her cut off. Get her off the roll here. And it does have a center tube which has the holes in it. Uh, it's very nice built. This is pretty strong, so not, uh, not, not terrible. It's a pretty strong, 70 grams for that. That's pretty strong. Let us take a look here. Um, yeah, this is definitely your cellulose paper. Probably does a fine job. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's tougher to tear than some others, so it's uh, well, it's got some heft to it, I think. Thirteen grams for that, so not too bad. I'm gonna measure it out and see what we got here. So we got it measured out. <clears throat> it's fifty-five and a half inches long or 141 centimeters by two inch or five centimeters. So there's a bit of filtration here actually. So that's 
not too bad. This thing does probably filters just fine. Uh, good old Molly. Um, I like them. I always liked them. I'm not saying anything bad about the build quality really here. It seems all pretty good. And uh, seems like a good standard filter for what you get. You get a real spring in it, which is kind of nice. Uh, four threads. It's not an overly heavy filter, but it's got a decent canister that has decent thickness. And as far as I know, it's not really that expensive. I can't remember the price of it, but I probably got it at Rock Auto a while ago. And was going to make a video on it, but I forgot. But now I have. I don't know how long ago I got it. It doesn't seem that old. I didn't see stampings in this or anywhere on here telling me... Uh, where... Uh, what, what time it was made or anything like that, so expiry date none, made in Indonesia oh, there you go, it's got no expiry date <laughs> so uh, it's a good filter, standard filtration of cellulose uh, it looks pretty good, I, I like these and I'd use them in a lot of my standard vehicle situations uh, but I have other filters I use for that so Nothing wrong with this filter. It looks great. It's built pretty good. And like I said, Molly has uh, lots of uh, companies all around the world or manufacturers around the world building their Molly filter. It's not just built in Germany as I found out. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, you know, catch me next time on another oil filter review or a used oil filter Friday.